there is a controversy brewing in the country music world after popular act Confederate dropped from the lineup of an upcoming festival in Illinois because of the word Confederate in their name. The removal from the DuCoin State Fair caused a good deal of outrage from many of their peers in the country music industry. The Southern Rock Group has yet to personally respond to the controversy. They were scheduled to play the gig a little over a month away on August 27 as part of 90s Country Reloaded Day, and the festival, which was apparently put together by the Illinois Department of Agriculture, decided to remove them based upon their name. Apparently, a political blog, Capital Facts, questioned whether it would be appropriate for the group to perform due to their name, to which Gross responded, while every artist has a right to expression, we believe this decision is in the best interest of serving all the people in our state. Local media also added that the decision, quote, appears to reflect racial sensitivity concerns and the band themselves declined to comment when they were contacted. Charlie Daniels himself is actually weighing in slamming the festival organizers for their decision, to which he said, this political correctness thing is totally out of control. When a fair cancels the Confederate Railroad band because of their name, it's giving in to fascism, plain and simple, and our freedom disappears piece by piece. Sick of it. Member of the Oak Ridge Boys stated, I have played the fair many times over the decades. However, I must say that canceling Confederate Railroad just because of their name is Confederate Railroad is a crock of crap. These are good men singing good songs. God, please help us all. The band still has their concert date listed on their schedule, though they have removed the Ticketmaster listing. Again, so far, no reaction from them, although this has stirred up a good deal of controversy in the country music community. Let us know in the comments down below what you think about this cancellation, whether you believe Confederate Railroad was wronged by the cancellation of this, or if you think that the festival organizers were right in canceling, it does seem that most country fans certainly support the band, and it's unclear why this decision was made. That is all for now. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe at CountryCast with notifications on so you don't miss out on our updates every day. Thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you all very soon.